Hello YouTube, this is Rocky Marley and welcome to the third part of Carl's Christmas Day Unboxing. This one was actually a surprise present really and we got from somebody who watches the channel and he was the guy who had to give us over 700. Now, I actually had a message about a week before Christmas saying that he had a vacuum in his loft that he wasn't using. Um, he does like Art Deco stuff. So it is quite, it's going to be a nice looking vacuum. Um, it has peaked inside because it did turn up. Um, I think Parcel Force bought it. And it's not on the next look. And it's not on the Electrolux. No, and they said it's an Electrolux. Yeah, it's not. it is like an Electrolux, isn't it? It is, I actually like this one. But it is such a, it is a shop, it's actually, this is actually a shop exclusive vacuum. What shop? Well, we'll find out when we open it up. That's oh, alright. What shop is Goofy? Oh, have a look. Well, this one was made for a department store, I do believe. Just put that in the bag. In the bag, mate, yeah. I know it's cardboard. We got the vacuum cleaner finally. But let's get into this one. It's not Nectarnox. So, this is uh, a Duco Super Silent. And it says, made in England for Brown Brothers Limited. Brown Brothers Limited was a department store in the UK. I think they had four stores, uh, mainly up the north end of the uh, country. So it is such a beautiful looking vacuum. Oh, that's it, the hose in my other. What's that on the hoover? No, it's the one from the goblin and like, all that. Yeah, because well, this one. And it looks like the hose one that boo on So I it got. is quite an interesting machine, this one. Um, like you said, we have got the bags to open yet, but we'll, we will we'll be shooting them out in order. Um, the other bad. Yeah, so this one is a. So when you look at all this, you're more likely going to have all the, all the tools and that will be all polished. Um, you know, watch your scissors, mate. That's it. So what we did this year, we decided that he'd open all his little bits and bobs he gets from his uh, family and things like that. Oh, Dan, where's an lava, Dan? Oh, well, go find that one. Yeah, we've got a lava lamp open yet. And it's just There's the floor nozzle. Yeah, look, yeah, so there's the floor nozzle, look. The poster we told. So it's a Duco that's made in England, look, there. In fact, um, like you say, there were lots of little vacuum cleaner companies. Um, Goblin. Goblin and well, they're not they were big, but there was lots of uh, companies all jumping on the bandwagon for uh, vacuums, really. Um, start of the century and uh, just trying postry. to make their money. Postry. I mean, um, the two I mean, kings, no, like the two kings the really, no, where's this one's metal? Yeah, and it's in plastic, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, the two kings in the UK mainly were Hoover and Goblin. And Goblin and but there was like Eureka. But no, we didn't want it with Eureka. Yeah, they did the Eureka, which was a like very much like a 370. No. But without no, about an no, aggregator. No, it had the sun bit on it. Yeah. So this one, it has got like a nice. I nice, think this is the bottom hole, Dad. A very nice finish indeed on here. Dad! Oh, I oh, know! I think the one from what what that dot co did it take on? Uh, uh, what what that that what what that thing called on YouTube? That Dyson guy, Manchester Vax. All right. No, I think it, I think Manchester Vax has got one of these. I think I think he's done on video too. Yeah, he may have actually. Yeah, I think no, he has. No, and he has this. this any wrong Google will well, ever see why is this in and find it. Yeah, that at the bottom. Ah, yeah. I see. So yeah, we'd like to have a big, say a big thank you for Gary for letting us, well, for giving this one um, Dad, to us. Go, go, very much, you know, Dad, very much appreciate it. Go, go back and Google and I'll find how to assemble this. Well, I'm not doing it now. Not to assemble it. That's to turn the video off. All right. And that's to find how to assemble it, and that's how we, and that's how we do the test. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So there's the last part of it. Yes, um, this one, this, I don't think it's as old as you think. This is the Manchester Vax one. Yeah. So this one's not as old as you think it is. This one was around uh, 
the 60s? No, no, here's how they built a vacuum of them. It is a shop exclusive, very much like as Henry Turbo is. Um, but in the hallway. Yeah, so it has got like a. No, in, in the one you see on Google, it's got a shit there, not a shit on top. Yeah, so this is a later one, but it, it does look quite old looking, you know, it's, it is that Art Deco style. Um, Plug it in. It has got nice, it has got a nice, Dude, well, very heavy heavy duty uh, cable, yeah, like rubber cables. It looks very old. No, and I think Dougal's supposed to come in little boxes for me. Well, it is a stunner. No, I think Dougal's supposed to come in little boxes. Those little wooden boxes. Yeah. Dad, fire in the hole. Yeah. Well, it should be alright because he got this from Gary. He knows it's alright. I mean, he's gone through Dad. all up for us. He's put his ear. Uh, yeah, but this is called the Super Silent. So we'll find out how silent the Super Silent really is. <laughs> Yeah, that's how they sound. He's checking the end. Yeah, because he was watching the old Electroluxes with the, um, they almost looked like turbines on the back of some of the old very Electroluxes. Look in the back. Oh, I'm not looking in the back. I'm looking. Yeah, that's how they sound. Nice so you can see it's sparking at the back. Yeah, but all motors spark, mate. All motors spark. You can use a spark, I think. It's in the little diesel motors. Yeah. And they got prime versus and, and yeah. um, poppy tires. Yeah, it's not got a lot of suction. That's got about the same suction as a 700, isn't it, on the tools, isn't it? It's a nice. It is very decorative, actually. It's the sort of one you could have sat on the side as a... As no, a... no, we've got a mounted vaccine one sound at point. Yeah. No, and this one's great. This one's great. Yes, yeah, so there's a nice... We are like... Where's the door for you? Alright, we'll get that one in a minute. I'm vacuuming, vacuuming, with my blue... Ah! So this is the Duco. Vacuuming, with my blue... That's not very stylish indeed. It does have a good taste in vacuum, so Gary. I mean, you say, there's something that... Do you start? Got instructions. That's... Let me just pick up there. Yeah, I'm acting now. Like the, uh... Other place in Paul, Where's them dirt? I need to find the dirt. What's that block, Gary? Yeah. Ah. Oh, there's a corner there, look. There's paper, see? This got suction. Oh, Dad, get the dice in out. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll get, get the corners out to uh, get rid of the spider webs. Dad, we've got a dice in here. Oh. Open. Alright. So, oh, no. thank you very much for watching. Um, very, very grateful for Gary for letting us have this one. It is such a nice old vacuum. I think it's like I said earlier, it is a sort of vacuum you can put on your sideboard and stare at it if you had like a nice art deco house. Yeah, take that dice and it off. Alright, so thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye for now and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye!